Hey SEAL friends, this should be a quick example through slip critical connections. So let's take a look at this connection. Uh, we already examined this for bolt bearing strength and now we want to add slip. So we were specified that it was standard size holes, class A surfaces, 7 8 inch diameter, group A bolts. Uh, and so we need to come up with the slip critical connection strength. So when we're designing uh, slip critical connections. I want you to always design them to make sure that the bearing capacity is uh, strong enough to hold the design loads. So that means we need to design this member for all the previous limit states we already considered, right? So we looked at all these limit states in the example one uh, when we looked at this for a bearing type connection. All right, so now I want to look at slip of the connection. And so let's take a look at how we calculate the capacity of this connection in slip. All right, so we turn to AISC chapter J 3.8 and we look at our formula for slip of the connection. It's phi Rn equals uh, phi times mu times d sub u times h sub f times t sub b times n sub s. So that will give us the value or the capacity per bolt. So remember, the Rn indicates per bolt. Uh, in this connection, we have standard size holes. So phi it will be 1.00. We were given that it was class A surfaces. So mu equals 0 0.30. Again, class A surfaces pertains to just regular steel that's been cleaned. So all members should be clean when they go to be constructed, no oil on them. D sub U is stipulated as 1.13, unless as the engineer of record, you have a better reason to use some other value that's saying that you're confident you're going to get higher than the minimum pretension. H sub F is going to be 1.0 because in this connection, the splice plate connection, we had no filler plates. T sub B we get from AISC table J 3.1, and that says that T sub B equals 39 kips. The minimum bolt pretension is 39 kips for a 7 8 inch diameter group A bolt. Finally, the number of shear planes is 2. You can take a look back at our connection and see that the bolt will be in double shear. And we talked about that in the previous example. So going through and multiplying all these together, we get that phi Rn is going to be 26.4 kips per bolt. The rest of the calculations proceed just as they did when we looked at a bearing type connection. For all the bolt related limit states, we need to create a table and that will include bearing, tear out, and bolt shear. And now I've added a column to represent the slip resistance of each bolt, the slip resistance being 26.4 kips. Then I take the minimum at each bolt number, and I see that now for bolts one and two, the slip resistance will control, but at bolts three and four, the tear out still controls for the half inch plate. Then we add up all the minimum phi Rns for each bolt, and that gives us phi Pn for the bolt related limit states is now 87.1 kips. I add that to all the other limit states I considered, yielding fracture block shear. Now my bolt related limit states includes slip, and I see that the overall the bolt limit state controls the design for this connection. So now, considering all the limit states, the maximum force that this connection could con handle, uh, considering it as a slip critical connection, is 87.1 kips. Until next time, stay strong, my steel friends.